A new law goes into effect on January 1st. It requires additional training for licensed hairstylists and barbers, but that training has nothing to do with hair. It focuses on how to recognize signs of domestic violence. News 4's Danielle Jackson has the story. Amy Hooper does hair for a living at Sheer Heaven Salon. For a hairstylist or a barber, we get told everything under the moon. So we're like our second job is a counselor, right? So we have therapy sessions all the time. She knows firsthand just how much this space can become a safe haven for conversations, including the topic of domestic violence. And I've experienced a few clients who have been that way and they've been really shy when the person would come in that was the abuser and they would shut down instantly. Starting January 1st, a new law will require licensed Tennessee beauty professionals to complete up to one hour of domestic violence training, either in person or online. The goal is to save lives. Uh, we're hoping that this training uh, is going to help Tennessee's over 50,000 licensed beauty professionals recognize the signs of abuse and how to respond appropriately and what resources are available. Shaka Jackson, a stylist for the past two decades, agrees this type of training will bring more awareness to an ongoing issue. We're like therapists for our clients. So this would help us recognize signs um, for as physical or as what a person may say. And with that, it'll help us um, be, help us guide that person as to what's the next proper steps for that person to take who is in that type of situation. Amy is also a domestic violence survivor. A lot of the tells are the same thing that I did and I didn't realize until it really opened up my eyes. So I've had people tell me, you know, you're being in an abusive situation. I was like, no, no, because you don't think that you are. Recently, she took a DV course during a hair show. She's hopeful her words and knowledge will translate to someone who's going through domestic violence. Really scary, but it's very important to see the tells that people show you so that way you can help them either give them a domestic violence number, kind of slip it in their pocket, give them it with your card. Anything like that can help. In Nashville, I'm Danielle Jackson, News for Nashville.